Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted and I am back for my first BGC or whatever you want to call it, Battle Stadium ranked online double battle session. Um, I don't know how much time I have to do this. I might be able to get one or two in. I do have somewhere to be around 12.30. Uh, so I, I don't have that much time, but I am going to try to get my first session up right now. Uh, and I'm actually really excited about this. Pokemon Sword and Shield have just come out. Lots of people are trying to get into competitive and I'm trying to teach people competitive. So one of the best ways of doing this is by one, making my moveset guides that I've been uploading the past couple of days, and two, just showcasing teams on ranked battles and showing my thought process and laddering. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. As you can see, I've already gotten a couple of battles done. Uh, those losses, only like only three of them were, are actually, or only one of them is actually real. The other three were just disconnections. I just plugged in my Ethernet adapter for my Switch because I kept getting disconnected from the network. Hopefully that fixes it because uh, my Wi-Fi is a little bit finicky, but yeah. Something interesting about this is that you can actually show your opponent your team after the battle so they know what you were running. Uh, so that's really cool. But today we're going to be running a rental team. Next week I'll be using my own team that I bred myself. And uh, you'll be seeing a team builder for that going up sometime tomorrow, I believe. But this is actually a really cool team. It's Barrascute or Rain, and Barrascute is a really really strong Pokemon. It's got Life Orb and Swift Swim. It also has really cool coverage with Close Combat, Liquidation, Poison Jab. It's just really cool. But as you can see, we're getting into our first battle here. If you guys enjoyed this at any point in time, you should leave a like and subscribe to this channel. So, we are facing a mirror. <laughs> we're facing mirror. Uh, if there's one way I know how to play this mirror, it's like this. We're going to lead off with Pelipper and Ludicolo, and we're going to bring Ferrothorn and Barrascuta in the back. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because this team has no way of beating uh, Ferrothorn short of our Barrascuta clicking close combat. And uh, also, it's Choice Band Ferrothorn. I, I wouldn't have run that if I were the person who made this team at Game Freak, because uh, this is Game Freak's rental team. But, yeah. We, we don't have uh, much way of beating it, but if we end up going with a Pelipper Ludicolo mirror lead, I will be able to... Uh, What's it called? Dynamax my Pelipper and Preventive Flinch from going off. So yeah. That'll allow me to get uh, a free hit on the Ludicolo and possibly knock it out. Alright, let's get into it. Ooh. That's really interesting. Uh, depending on... Like, they have they have different stadiums. That This isn't the same stadium I played in uh, for my last couple of sessions. That's really cool. The The battleground can change. Alright, so I actually really don't like this lead. Uh, I'm in a position where I might get faked out by the opposing <laughs> by the opposing uh, boy right there. So my safest play... Oh, I didn't bring Raichu. I didn't bring Raichu, so I have to do this. I have to Dynamax, Max Airstream into that... Uh, into that Ludicolo right there to prevent a flinch, and I have to go for a fake out into this Raichu, hoping that uh, it doesn't Dynamax this turn. Yeah, I couldn't afford not to bring Barrascuta and Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn's a win condition. Uh, if. Oh no, please let that be Ludicolo. Please be Ludicolo. Oh, thank God. Alright, I was gonna say, we're in trouble. So I can't flinch that Ludicolo, that's fine, I wasn't going for that flinch. I am going to get a speed boost from this turn though, which will allow me to knock out that Raichu next turn with uh, a a uh, Max Geyser, so that's really nice. And I'm hoping that they went for the fake out into my Pelipper right here to prevent a Tailwind. Okay, let's see how this goes out. Fake out's coming out. Fake out into Raichu. So they're probably just going for the uh, Thunderbolt. There's a max overgrowth. It's going to do a decent chunk because I am not very specially defensive. But I should be able to knock out this, uh, this Ludicolo next turn, depending on how this turn plays out. Alright. There's the flinch. Here's my max airstream. I am going to get a speed boost. Ooh, it looks like I'm not knocking it out next turn. I was really hoping that'd be a two-shot. But my uh, my Ludicolo is now faster. So I could just target down this Raichu and remove one of his biggest threats to my team. I think my play is always going to be Max Geyser on the Raichu. 
for the KO. And uh, I can go for this energy or this ice beam into the uh, into the Ludicolo for damage this turn. Here's the ice beam. Not not amazing damage, but enough where I'm I'm satisfied. Hopefully max overgrowth doesn't get a high roll. Oh wait, I'm dumb. It's grassy terrain boosted. That was the dumbest play I could have made. That was the dumbest play. I should have uh. I should have uh, max guarded. Fortunately, I still have my Ferrothorn, which can deal some major damage to the rest of his team. By because uh, now I'm I'm grassy terrain boosted and I have power whip with a choice band, so I feel like my number one priority should be that their uh, that their Ludicolo over there. So here comes the Ferrothorn. And this power up should KO as long as I land it. Uh, as for Ludicolo, I think his I think his goose is cooked. We're gonna try to go for a scald though into this into this Raichu. Yeah, power up is gonna be really strong. Yeah, I completely forgot that that set up grassy terrain. I'm still getting used to the uh, Dynamax stuff, but this series is as much about me teaching you as it is me learning. We can all improve at this game. What time is it, by the way? It is 11.46. Cool. Still got a little bit of time. I have to be there at 12.30, so I might need to leave at like 12.10. It's taking a minute. There we go. Max Strike. So he's going to lower my speed. That isn't going to be doing much, though. Uh, literally any other move would have done more. In fact, that's only helping me... Well, no, I'm, I'm Choice Banded. Uh, so I, I can't click Gyro Ball anymore, but... Had I not had I uh, not clicked Power Whip, that would have only helped me. Ferrothorn. Not appreciating how much he's targeting Ferrothorn, but... I guess I'm okay with it because I'm going to get the Scald off on that Raichu. Big damage. Not going to KO. Maybe I can get a burn. Nope, but this power whip will KO that that Ludicolo, so I'm really happy with that. The way he was targeting uh, my Ferrothorn tells me he probably doesn't have a way of hitting it. So I'm actually very happy about that. Also, it's just freeing up Ludicolo. It's protecting him in a way. Uh, Ferrothorn just being so threatening to this team makes it so... Ludicolo uh, is not their number one priority, but it's still a huge threat in the rain with how much damage it can put out. There is his Ferrothorn. I am now very scared. There's a Power Whip into that Raichu. I'm going to go for the Scald Burn onto the Ferrothorn, hoping that I can uh, make it a little bit less powerful, and maybe then my Barrisquito will be able to get a KO with close combat. But this looks like it's going to be a really close game. Encore? Okay, I really don't mind that. I'm literally... I'm literally choice banned. I'm running the same team as you, man. Here's my Scald. Give me this burn. Oh, it's big boy damage. No burn. Power up will knock me out. But I did put it in a range where I feel like I might be able to pick up a KO with, uh, with close combat. If I get lucky here. Power whip is going to land. Nice. There's more where that came from, like seven more. I don't know how much PP Power Rip has, but yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to double into this Ferrothorn if I want to win. Because close combat might not do the job. And his last Pokemon is Pelipper. I kind of have to hope for him to miss, don't I? Um, Power Whip probably won't be doing that much, and I don't want to risk the miss, but I am still going to double into that Ferrothorn in case I don't get it with the initial close combat. Uh, I don't feel like protecting. I don't think that's going to help me at all. Ooh, alright, nice. Close combat, please. Oh my god, Barrascuta. If we can get this KO with the Power Whip. If we can get this KO with the Power Whip. Please. 
I'll take a miss too. Like not not me missing, but him missing. That'd be cool. All right, there's the hit. If we can, if we can land this power whip, it should KO. Mm. We're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Um, Choice Bandit Power Up probably won't one-shot this Pelipper, but uh, Pelipper's Hurricanes are only doing like 20% to me, I believe. And I am getting Grassy Train Recovery. So that's amazing. And we're still Grassy Train boosted this next turn. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. <laughs> this is a two-shot. This is a two-shot, and they've just got a three-shot, I believe. So, it all comes down to this. It all comes down to whether or not I can land these next two power whips. Maybe three. It depends if they burn me. Come on. There's the hurricane. No confusion, please. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> please, please, please. Ah, are you kidding me, Ferrothorn? All right. I need you to miss these. I need you to miss these right now. It's a hurricane. It's the same accuracy as mine. Can you can you not KO me, please? Ah, that sucks. All right, well that's a little bit annoying. I might have had it um, had I not hit myself. I don't know what that calc is, but uh, of course it is Focus Sash Pelper, so it would have been a two shot regardless. That's whatever. I feel like I still displayed how the team functions, so I'm fine with that. Let's get one more. I can still get another battle. I'm not going to run out of time. In the words of Mr. Incredible. Yeah, I got time. Oh, I just moved my webcam. Yeah, Mr. Incredible. I got time. <laughs> Let's listen to uh, Gym Leader. Hopefully I can find a battle soon. Uh, I think next week I'm still going to be using Rain. I, I think I want to use Dreadnought Rain Offense. The team I'm thinking about right now is like um, Scrafty, Dreadnought, Pelipper, and Ferrothorn. Uh, I'm not sure what those next or what those last two things will be. I'm thinking it's probably going to be like Rotom Heat, so I at least have a fire move to deal with opposing Ferrothorn. And uh, it, it would also be my electric type. And then the last Pokemon's kind of up in the air. I definitely need a ground type. Pokemon, so I'm feeling like Flygon might be alright. Alright, cool. Battle against Nathan, rank 4, okay. I'm still, I'm only rank 3, but, you know. <laughs> alright, uh, what's your team, Nathan? Ooh, looks like we're facing Sand Offense. So... I really like the Ferrothorn lead, but Rotom Heat seems scary. Seismitoad doesn't look too bad. Let me look at Seismitoad's set. Seismitoad seems pretty clean. Uh, I think maybe we'll just go... Pelipper, Seismitoad. Uh, Ferrothorn in the back. Nah, Ferrothorn doesn't seem all that great. This full rain offense seems alright. We got three water types, but they've got no grass types, so... Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Just full rain offense. This song goes way too hard. Alright, hit him on top and drag a pull. So I'm thinking my best play here is to, uh, I think I want to Dynamax turn one again and go for that max airstream into the Hitmontop. I feel like that's pretty safe. I don't see a reason why that wouldn't work. Uh, I would also get the speed boost on my Seismitoad. Uh, and he's Ghost Dragon, so he resists water. But he doesn't resist earth power. Uh, I think I'd rather just go for the muddy water, though. I can get an accuracy drop. He probably doesn't expect me to go for the spread move right now. So if this max airstream somehow doesn't knock out his his, his uh, hitmontop, um, I'll still be able to get big damage. 
Is that Dragapult? I feel like it's Dragapult. Yep. There it is. God, this thing's adorable. Alright, let's get this Max Airstream off. He might be going for the fake out into my Seismitoad, but I'm really hoping he isn't. If I were him, I would have faked up the Pelipper to prevent a Tailwind. Ooh, I just got a random subscription on YouTube, that's, or on Twitch, that's funny. Ignore that, that this is my Twitch layout. <laughs> Eject button. Okay, interesting. I I didn't expect that. Um, what's coming out then? Probably something that takes the max airstream pretty well, to be honest. But I am gonna be at plus one speed now, so I can go for a max geyser and then a muddy water. We're probably gonna see like a max phantasm or a max warm wind come out from this dragapult. There's the Excadrill. Alright. Luckily, I will not speed this Excadrill next turn. Max Flare. Interesting. Um, next turn, I can KO it, though. I can KO it, because I'm going to get plus one speed, and I can just Earth Power for safe damage. I mean, I could also try to go for the, uh, <laughs> I could also try to yeet him with Muddy Water again, but I, I don't, I don't want to risk that. We'll go for Max Geyser, onto the Excadrill, and, uh, we'll Earth Power. Yeah, the, uh, the Max Flare is definitely nice to know now. They are carrying a Fire move, so I'm really, <laughs> I'm really happy I didn't end up bringing Ferrothorn. They were prepared for it. There's the Worm Wind. It's going to do some big damage to my Pelipper. Yikes. Okay, what's that secondary effect? Special defense, I think. Attack. Alright, I'm fine with that. I'm a, I'm a special attacker anyways. Alright, Excadrill's down. And I still have one more turn of Dynamax. So I can... Uh, I mean, I'm not outspeeding this Dragapult. However, now my Seismitoad will outspeed whatever comes out. Alright, it's probably going to be the Hitmontop, if anything. Oh no, it's Tyranitar. Well, in that case, I'm actually pretty okay with where I'm at. Let me uh, hard switch out my my Pelipper here. I'll go out into my Ludicolo. It's safe. And I'll go for this uh, Earth Power into the Pelipper, or into the Tyranitar. Because if I can get rid of Tyranitar, I'm in a spot where, um, I'm in a spot where I can guarantee rain up for the rest of the game. Phantasm into Seismitoad. I'm not going to appreciate that. That's going to hurt. Oh, wow. I did not think it'd do that much. Uh, there goes my defense, too. So Seismitoad might be down this turn. Here's the Earth Power. Maybe we can get a special defense drop. Oh, no. Please tell me you didn't rock slide. There it is. All right, Barrascuta, it's on you. Barrascuta Pelipper. Not the worst position, but also not a very good one. So what's my play here? Uh, Dragapult's a huge issue. Luckily, he should be going down this turn from his uh, Gigantamax. Or from his Dynamax. Um, as for something I can hit it with, Poison Jabs resisted, Liquidations resisted, Close Combat is, he's immune to it. Is 
So it's actually a pretty tough spot. Um, I can try to protect. Mm, I don't like this turn. I don't like it at all. I have to get a Tailwind up if I want to win. Yeah, ho hopefully Dragon Darts won't Oko me. I'll go for the Liquidation and Tyranitar so I don't lower my defenses. He doesn't switch out into Pelper, which is really good. I can double protect next turn. And if I don't die... Because Phantom Force will take two turns, right? That's his only physical Dragon Stab. Oh, he gets Dragon Claw. Or I meant to say uh, his only physical Ghost Stab. So now I think my play is always to protect this turn and then double into Dragapult with Hurricane and Liquidation. I'm really hoping he doesn't have Faint. Faint would really screw me over here. But Fake Out is definitely his better play. If he has Faint, I already lost, to be honest. Let's hope he doesn't. Him on top shouldn't have a way of knocking out my Pelipper. That's a really interesting animation for Protect. <laughs> he uses the little propellers in his butt. There's the Fake Out. Nice. Is he going to Phantom Force? I'd be really scared. Dragon Claw. Alright, time to... Oh, he doubled. Alright, time for us to double. I, I believe. I believe, guys. Do you believe? I believe. Life Orb Liquidation into Hurricane, please. Dragapult's a threat in this metagame. It's also a threat to my... Oh my god. Can I can I confuse you, please? Can I get the crit or confuse you? No, that's going to be game. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick up a win this session, guys. Sorry about that, but I do feel like I did the team justice. Uh, this is a really cool team. This is a really cool team. Not not the one I'm using. I mean, the team I was using today, the rental team, was really cool. But honestly, just the guy I was facing's team was really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to stick around for the next session, I'll be using another rental team, if not this one again. Uh, and then next week, I'll be using my own team that I bred and made a team builder on. And that team builder will be going up tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. I really appreciate it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I promise I'll start winning soon. Have a nice night. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.